Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress and this is your daily dust for Saturday 11-11 if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It can be that 11-11 energy anytime, which I always like to take as the twin flame energy. So let's use the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards to guide us today. This is another one of those thick edged decks or sort of not exactly big border but it's just a lot of color around the image anyway and it but it has a nice gold gilded edge really beautiful let's give it a shuffle and see what we get i take from the middle and we have bridget don't back down Stand up for what you believe is right. And Sekhmet, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. And Dana, High Priestess, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual awakening. All right, I'm going to change the light because we have a bit of a glare. Oh, the hair. <laughs> Let me see if I can, maybe if I can scoot it all the way over. All right, well, it's it's a little darker, but I'm going to clear that up with my handy-dandy editing machine. I am not affiliated with UCut, but I recommend them highly. And also, YouTube has a new editor, which is kind of good. I, I've tried a little, a few of the features. They have really great music selection, but some of the filters and things are kind of like not very, uh, not, not as much abundance in that area. <laughs> so let's just see what we have as far as our reading today. With Bridget, you have, a, you know, this, this kind of strength energy. First, be quite clear about your intentions, and if you're unclear, then confusion will lessen your power and force. Like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright, <laughs> and do what, you know, do what is acceptable to you in the situation, and make no mistake, Bridget will guide and protect you, and yet think of unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you are to stand up for yourself and speak up about your needs and your deepest truth. Now is the time to touch your power for its heat and flame will ignite your passion which will propel you forward in countless ways. Even in the face of fear you can stand up for your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering and make your, your stand today. It's all about being assertive don't worry about what others think, you know, um, the truth that, that sets you free. Like your actions will work out fine because it's, it's authentic to you. So keep speaking your truth and sticking to your opinions and put your foot down. <laughs> All right. So Bridget is a Celtic triple goddess, and that means she represents the three aspects of woman, the young, the virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone, sage, wise woman. Bridget is a fiery goddess who tirelessly protects those who call upon her, and she is a feminine counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Bridget's temple is in Kildare, Ireland, and she is celebrated worldwide on February 1st, the ancient sacred day called Imolk, which marks the beginning of springtime and increasing daylight. I feel like I need that already. <laughs> so let's see about Sekhmet. So more of this, put your foot down and then be strong too. You are stronger than you think, you know. See yourself as strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone or any condition. You are the embodiment of strength, not victimhood. As you rise above the old tendencies and see yourself in this new light of beautiful feminine strength, your life will automatically shift in mir miraculous ways. This is a lot of female energy here. Whether you're male or female, though, you can really tap into these strong women's energies. These goddesses. <laughs> You'll attract new opportunities, forms of abundance, and relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. 
being strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light you can imagine. Be real. Allow yourself to feel genuine emotions. But most of all, be strong. So don't underestimate yourself. Don't yield to pressure like peer pressure. Don't give in. Don't dim to fit in. <laughs> Avoid complaining. I tried to, I did this, uh, um, I like focused on this. Um, purposefully one one day when I was driving around doing my delivery job which is kind of fun for me but some days I'm like mumbling and complaining in my head and I'm thinking okay hold up stop <laughs> now let's just see the good in the day let's like you know focus on the beautiful scenery focus on the kind people focus on the, the exercise and getting out and focus on having you know this this routine that that you know is just a little bit different changes things up during the week for you so you're doing something where you're outside of the house and not stuck inside all day long and things like that so I just like really try to focus on the positive st stuff and I try to stop complaining but my mind often defaults to the complaining stuff which sometimes it surprises me I'm like what am I doing <laughs> I'm complaining about everything in my head so and complaints are you know connected to negative thinking which is easy to manifest more of the same if you keep doing that um sometimes weight training can be a good thing <laughs> to just like make you stronger physically stronger and it just entirely changes your your attitude believe me i know it feels wonderful to be to be in that mode and in, in that weight training mode it makes you feel like a warrior makes you feel like you can conquer things so this segment is an Egyptian sun goddess and she is a fiery protector who, who's married to the Egyptian deity, Ta. Her name means strong and mighty and Sekhmet is connected with lions symbolizing her fiercely protective nature and sometimes appears with a lion's head and a human woman's body. Call upon Sekhmet met to shore up your strength and power we tapped into her energy a lot on the Lionsgate portal in 888 and here she came out again for the 1111 so hi segment thank you for giving me courage and strength to be strong and thank you Bridget to help me stick to it and now we also have Dana because Dana is all about this connection with the divine Dana, my darling, Dana, Dana or Dana, um, your wisdom extends back into the far reaches of ancient times. You've brought this knowledge forward into your present incarnation to be a way shower so that others may benefit from your experiences. Don't delay in expressing this wisdom. Dana is going to assist you in manifesting platforms for your spiritual teaching, whether it's through teaching by example or through writing or speaking. All forms of teaching are equally valuable, no matter how many lives you touch. And I've really been focusing on that too. Like, even at, if my subscriber count changes, I keep thinking, no, the ones that are still out there, that still follow me, that still like to hear what I have to say, I'm doing this for you guys. If you, as long as you want me here to help you and to guide you, I will be here for you. I promise you. <laughs> so, um, sometimes this could also be if you needing to lead a workshop, you know, or you writing a book or an article, um, looking for ways to teach or help people, being a role model of peace. Um, honor your own divinity and know that you are a leader. So Dana is one of the most ancient Celtic goddesses. She extends all the way to pre-Gaelic times of Ireland when the Tuatha de Danans, which means the children of Dana, followed her as their creator mother goddess. And then when the Gaelics invaded Ireland, Tuatha de Danans transformed themselves into leprechauns as they remain today. Dana, who is also known as Danu or Danu, is extremely powerful and magical. She can help you with manifestation, alchemy, and divine magic. She's also 
it can introduce you to the elemental kingdom, especially leprechauns and maybe fairies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is, Dana is representing that high priestess magical ability of yours. And this could be for a lot of like tarot readers out there or people who just, um, you know, you may have you may be highly popular or mildly popular. It doesn't matter. Popularity is not the point. It's you are touching people's lives and the people who you're connecting with. You, you, you know, may be surprised how important it is to them and how much you can move people in, into manifesting a better world for themselves just by being you. So keep up the beautiful work and stay in your own power you know don't give in to to you know these alternate thoughts focus on your strength and your abilities and you know you have it you've got it you got it keep going <laughs> all right and i hope you like that faith just a pixie dust mm -hmm.